Dobra, Krista, we're gonna make some kopia. Get excited. So we're gonna make like an enchilada casserole, I think. So we're gonna use these ingredients. Chicken, soup. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some chopped bell pepper. I guess I only have orange, but that's okay. And some onions. Okay, and I decided to add the green onions too. And here's our chicken. We're just gonna let that sizzle. Okay guys, next is a sauce. We're gonna take one chipotle because these are very hot. And we're gonna mix it with some tomatoes. This chipotle is super caliente. Fado Boronza, very hot, so look at the seeds. That's all you need. We're gonna add, I blended the chipotle pepper with the crushed tomatoes. And we're just gonna let it sizzle here. I'll show you guys, I got some jalapenos growing here. And over here, I got my cherry tomatoes. They're almost here, guys. Look, guys, we're gonna add some kale to our enchilada casserole. So we're just gonna put some here. Hey, guys, we're gonna make some chickpea shells. I don't know if I've shown the back of this package before, but here they do a good job of comparing average pasta to bonza pasta. Pretty big difference, I think. That's boiling. We're gonna go ahead and shred some sweet potatoes. Almost done, guys. We're just gonna add some fresh chives to our grated sweet potato, and then we're gonna add some yellow cheese. And that's the main event or grand finale. So we're just gonna add those here. I know, which, and we're gonna add some brown rice. Now we got our chicken sauce, chipotle sauce in here. We're just gonna add that in here. Ooh, nelly. Okay guys, so we spread our sweet potato. Did you want some? I know, it smells so yummy. Spread that on. What an enchilada capsule do without enchilada sauce. So we're just gonna add Food that tastes good. If you guys got these, congratulations, you did a good job picking some good chips. So we're just gonna put these on here like that. It's time to put them in the oven. This thing is so heavy. It's gonna be good. So, eh, about maybe 15 minutes, 400 degrees. See you later. Guess what time it is? It's enchilada casserole time. Now we gotta try it. This is the first time I made this. We'll see how it goes.